Just feel like I want to give opportunity to these kids. Um, I want to help them um, achieve their dream and also be hopeful. Um, they, they don't necessarily have to be professional soccer players, to be honest. Uh, but I feel like if a kid pick interest in something and they're good at it, I think um, the most you can do for them is to support them and to help them to develop their skill, which is what we do here. We help um, these younger kids to um, to just believe in whatever they they, they want to do. The first year was um, was really good. We had very good percentage and good numbers. Uh, we reached our goal, and we think the second year is going to be really better. And uh, eventually, um, when these girls leave here, where, where exactly are they going to? Especially for those of them who want to pursue a career in football. I mean, for those of them who want to pursue a career in football, uh, that's why we're here. We're going to help them. We're going to guide them through. Um, if it's to fix them in uh, proper professional teams and all of that, I think we're going to do all of that for them. Um, but um, they're not going to be forced to do anything if they don't want to do it. But at the end of the day, it's step by step. This is just the beginning. This is like a foundation of um, for everything. Like if you want to go professional, this is just the foundation of it. How important is it that they are getting this opportunity? Because this is an opportunity you did not get at the, at, uh, during your time when you were starting out. Yeah, I mean, um, I started out mine. Obviously, not wanting to play football professionally, uh, just I was just having fun and all of that. But along the line, I took that decision. But one thing I noticed was um, I love to play football, but I had um, little or less or no opportunity around me. I didn't have like uh, proper teams or academies or people to encourage me or something. So this is what I tried to create and give these girls access to because I feel like if I had all of that maybe I would have started off earlier and also maybe much more better mentally and also uh, with my family as well it's it's it was it was really difficult getting them um, to support me uh, but at the end of the day I mean I I was lucky enough to go professional but the ones who we started together in school and all of that they're not playing professional soccer today and which of which they were really good at it um, while we were together. So I just feel like I want to create more opportunities for the younger generation. The, the teams that represented Africa did very well. Morocco was a big surprise. Nobody gave Morocco a, a chance. So, but what would be your assessment of Africa's performance at this World Cup? Um, for me, I think the only thing is just to think way forward. Um, CAF have to keep up with the programs they're doing right now. We have the CAF Champions League for the league. Uh, in Africa and also we have some other competitions for the underage um, teams. These are the things that the European teams do. They take the underage games serious because they know you have to, this is the foundation before you get to the top level, which has actually helped teams like Morocco, to be honest, at the African Cup of Nations and then they transform that into the World Cup as well, you know. Um, the programs have to keep coming and also the local league needs to be better and taken serious as well. And that way I feel like we will have um, a better chance going into the next World Cup. Um, as um, coming from the African continent.